All right, so welcome back. Um, this is the third part. So I'm going to go over what each one of these things mean real quick. Then we're going to get on and writing some code. First thing first is you got your setup. Like your setup is like your basic, your basic template that you have to write for the code to work. The machine only reads code. Um, I like what you see in the movies. It's not just turn on the computer and, and, and just type what you think into it and the computer thinks for you. Computers don't think. They only process. So, so when you set up, it's a template that the computer can read what you want it to read, which is computer language. Uh, number two is your basic tags. Your basic tags are like, like in a nutshell, like tags are like your grammar. You know what I'm saying? It's like your punctuation, like your periods, your commas, and stuff like that. Um, these are some of the most, some of the, these are two of the most common tags you'll see, like H1. H1 most, mostly controls like your, um, like your size of your font. Fonts are like your text, like your lettering. Whether it's numbers or what, or, or, or whatever you want to display. If it's something that's numerical or, um, it's, it's a text, your, your, your H1 is how you control the size. H1 being the largest, H2 being smaller, H3 being smaller. I think it goes from one to six, I think, maybe one through five. Um, uh, the higher number being the smallest print. For some reason, they got it backwards, so don't get fooled. P is like your, um, is like for writing like your paragraphs and your sentences and, and stuff. Now, these are open links. Now, the way you close these out, like in a line, I should have put this in first, but I didn't, so you'll see me do it now. You, you have to close everything that you open. So, so the same thing for the P. So, if I was to write like, hello, like to make it print, I would have to close it which would be the bracket close. This is a must for HTML5. If you don't close those, it will not work. Or if it does work, it will not work like you want it to work. So always remember that. But we'll go over that. Links. Links are like the whole purpose of, of um, uh, uh, doing web development with HTML or like any programming really. Links have a whole business about it. Um, Sites with no links, or if we didn't have links, nothing would really work. So links mean just what it means. It means to connect to something else. Whether it's to another web page, it's to the answer of an equation, it's to uh, 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 enforce a line of code, you need links. With no links, nothing happens. Navigation. Navigation is how you steer the links. So if links is the car, navigation is the steering wheel. All right. Divs. Divs is like, um, it's how you divide your page up, man. It's like, uh, me, I like to label my divs like, like, uh, this is not how you do it. This is not the right wording or the syntax. Syntax is your grammar. This is not the, this is pseudo code that I'm typing. Pseudo code means that it's logical code, but if you put it into a computer to process, it probably won't process. It's just your thoughts and words. All right. So like my divs would be like uh, div one, you know what I'm saying? Versus uh, div two, div three, div three. I'm gonna just show you real quick. Two, you know what I'm saying? And then think of a div as a folder. So my div one may have A, B, C versus my div two may have one, two, three. So divs are your folders. It's, it's, it's how you separate your page and what you want to put into which section. It's the best way to section off stuff. We'll get into CSS and style later that has more direct controls of it. But for right now, we're just going to rock with this. Just follow this. I want you to understand the logic in it, and I want you to understand what you're doing first before you start doing it. Anyone can type code. Anyone can copy code. But copying is not really grasping the material and it's not true understanding and showing that you understand the material you know what i'm saying it's just you copying and you mimicking don't be a copier all right i mean you know what i'm talking about but anyway next joint head versus head header versus head 
Most people don't know the difference. Most people think they know. Head actually goes up in the beginning of your, um, pretty much deals with your setup tags versus your header is more like of a div. You know what I'm saying? It's a section piece of your page that you section off particularly to put like the, the uh, header is like your news line, like when you buy a paper where it says like, like I'm from New York, so it says like New York Post, Daily News, like your header. So that's, that's like the top of the page. That's like your main thing. Um, like your headline, boom. So then you got your main. Your main is like, that's the best way to think of it, like a newspaper. Like, like, like your main is like where your main content goes. So your head would be, or your header rather would be your headline and your main would be like where your main news is at, like your main print and stuff. And then footer is like the bottom. It's like the bottom version of the header. It's like what goes at the bottom, like to close you out. Most of the time now, you'll see people putting like their social media tags, their little legal stuff or about and contact stuff like that. All right. So those are like the basic joints. Um, this stuff you see at the bottom, these are more advanced techniques and styles. CSS versus style. CSS, when we get into it, I'll explain the difference between CSS versus style, but real briefly, CSS is like um, how you set up like your looks, like your visuals, like how you want it to look. That's how you control that. Versus to me, style is more, it's CSS, but it's more direct. It's not so much in another joint but don't get confused with all that i'm getting too technical and when we get to that part then i'll let you know um image that's like your pictures and stuff like a picture of anything if it's a picture it's a image whether it be a button a picture a, a graphic whatever it's an image video vid is self-explanatory it's video you know what i'm saying um you could get into other stuff too though like like um sound um you know what i'm saying we do mp4s um we could play any kind of see to me like all the mp4s and mp3 all that stuff kind of fall on the video to me because it's like stuff moving you know what i mean <laughs> um then you got your um and last last thing that i'll go over in this basic stuff is to download like once you create a content how people can download it because that's the point too it's like for people to share it see it and and for you to be able to share it so that's what we're going to cover all right peace